So if you need a whole new palette for your home, this is a lovely place to start. Can you believe we're almost into the year 2020? I can, you know why? Every year, right around this time of year, Benjamin Moore, the paint company, chooses that one paint color that best reflects the overall mood and trend for the upcoming year. And for me, that means 2020 is right around the corner. After lots of research and soul searching, the color of the year for 2020, according to Benjamin Moore, is called First Light. It's pink. Let's recap the previous several years of their choices. Simply White, yes, a controversial non-color, but still one of my favorite white paint colors. Shadow, that was a deep, dark, moody purple. And then there was Caliente, a vibrant red. And last year's color, Metropolitan, which was a pale gray. Most people were not impressed with gray. I mean, I like gray, but to say the year ahead is going to be characterized by the color gray, well, even I thought that was uninspiring. But this year's choice, although still pale, might feel a little more uplifting. Here's how Benjamin Moore sees it. A fresh palette, a revitalized spirit, a soft rosy hue blooming with potential. Benjamin Moore's color of the year 2020, first light is the backdrop for a bright new decade. And this is how I see the pretty in pink color. It's the blush pink of flamingo feathers, or a yummy bowl of strawberry ice cream, or the prettiness of rose quartz. All of it's very pretty. And here's how to use it in your home. It works beautifully in modern all white interiors as a lovely and subtle injection of color. Try it on an accent wall, or maybe invest in a light pink sofa. If you've got some other pink accents in your mostly white interior, then maybe try painting the inside of your front door in this pretty pink color. Bathrooms are rooms that can look a little cold with all the hard surfaces like tiled walls and floors, glass showers and mirrors. But a great way to warm things up is with this beautiful light pink color. But I especially love it on the bathroom vanity. What a way to bring attention and beauty to a major focal point in any bathroom. And just like last year's pale gray, I love the look of this pale pink on paneled walls like this. Classic shaker style paneling in this color is just the right amount of color to revitalize that architectural detail. Another lovely place to use this first light is in the bedroom as it's calming and soothing, perfect for getting ready for bed. Mix it with shades of gray and white, a classic combination. Or warm it up even further by mixing in orange, rust, and beige for a fresh new vibe. Think of all the great textures like velvets and chunky knits to make this look just perfect for your bedroom oasis. And one final place where first light might just knock you over, how about the kitchen? I love this look of pink mixed with a black and white marble backsplash and contrasting wood counters. It's so luxe without it being too over the top because the pink is light and delicious. And as I always say when it comes to specific paint colors, keep in mind your lighting conditions and always test it out. What you actually see on this little tiny paint chip or on your TV screen right now depends on so many variables. In fact, if you have lots of natural light in your room, first light might be too pale for you. You may want to consider choosing the next two colors down in the Benjamin Moore fan deck. Either of these two colors will give you similar effects to the examples I've shown you here, but they are slightly deeper in color. So test it out before you go full steam ahead. Check out my design lesson video on how to choose paint colors for your home. It's a great resource and I'll link it below. And finally, what if you're not happy with this year's color of the year? Benjamin Moore always picks an entire palette of colors for the year and this year's color trends palette for 2020 looks like this. I'm loving this entire palette and you can see here how all of these colors work together. So if you need a whole new palette for your home, this is a lovely place to start. I especially love the look of mixing first light with that subtle beige color in the trends palette called Thunder. It's a great new combo. And I'm always a big fan of blue for a kitchen island. Oxford gray is a great choice and white heron is perfect for kitchen cabinetry. This year's palette has two beautiful green tones, Cushing Green and Crystalline, and they look great together too. 
So here's your takeaway. If you're looking to revitalize your home, find ways to introduce this year's color of the year. First light is great all on its own for a calming effect or paired with lots of white for a fresh update or mix it with deep orange and rusty tones for a new modern palette. This rosy hue is just as pretty as it sounds. Thanks for watching this little design tip. We'll have lots more design tips just like this one coming soon. So don't forget to subscribe. We've got new videos every week. If you're loving this year's color of the year, make sure to let me know in the comments below. And don't forget, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. See you soon.